Well, religious leaders say protecting earth and water is a higher calling that should matter to everyone. This is sacred herb from North Dakota. This is uh, a purification herb of, uh, of sage, Beji Khuda. Ponca Nation Councilwoman Casey Kampornik. All life is sacred. Just returned from North Dakota. That's where friends and family members have been camping out in protest of the Dakota Access Pipeline. We do know that water is life and we must protect it. All these people also feel the same way. They met at Church of the Open Arms in Oklahoma City today. How we treat our land and water has a direct impact upon our lives and the lives of our children and grandchildren. Religious and tribal leaders say the construction of the line that would cross North and South Dakota, Iowa and Illinois will harm the water and endangered species. In a word, we all live downstream. And many of them holding the position that green energy is really the better alternative. We're live in Oklahoma City, Patty Santos, KOCO 5 News.